Jackie, uh, why do you want to be an actor and what kind of actor do you think you are? I want to be an actor because I believe in self-expression and acting really helps me kind of self-express uh, everything that I could possibly think of and I like playing different roles and really trying to ex figure out who I am as a person through these different characters and the roles I would really like to be in, I like villain roles, I like darker roles, the underdog, I don't like being the superhero, I don't like being the damsel in distress, don't like being the girlfriend, I like being like the the catalyst to every story, the villain that you know really gets under your skin, like Negan or the Joker from Dark Knight, like those kind of roles that you just, you know, they sit with you because they're just so well crafted. Okay, is that good? Yeah. Aaron, what type of actor do you think you are, and how could you contribute to this agency? Well, the type of actor I think I am is kind of a supporting friend. The friend that the either main character or even a, a side character would be like, hey, I have this problem, this and that, and I'd be like, all right, I hear you, and I'll tell you what to do. And then, I don't know, I feel as if naturally I have good advice-giving skills, so I think that would definitely help the agency out in finding those kinds of roles because I am naturally gifted. I would say gifted, that's a bit pretentious, but I'm naturally just good at that. I, I find myself to be a good advice giver. So uh, a side man, a wingman, if you will, I believe those are the kind of roles in serious life. Nice and conversational, nothing like, like ridiculous, you know? So yeah. Do you, see, do you like comedy or drama? Or both? Uh, both. I prefer drama. Yeah. Okay. Robert, do you see yourself as playing action roles, or leading men, or comedy sidekick? How do you see yourself? I'd have to say it'd be a combination. I feel like I'm very versatile uh, in my looks and ways of acting. I'd prefer to go towards something drama-oriented, where it's a little more serious, though. So, like, Twilight would be okay? I mean, yeah, roles are role. <laughs> I would be I would be happy with Twilight. I... Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, that would be fine with me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Jamie, uh, what about your life has informed you and helped you to become a better actor? I think traveling the world definitely helped. I've seen movies in multiple different countries, and it's interesting to see that film and television can change a life, save a life, or just be an ambassador for this country. I saw Transformers with Mandarin subtitles, and in some countries they hate us, but they love our movies. It's a great feeling to reach out like that. So would you consider yourself as an actor, an ambassador? Yes, because you can change someone's world with a movie. Thank you. Uh, Brie, or do you want to go by Brianna? Brie. Brie, what was your favorite role that you portrayed and why? Uh, my favorite role was actually Scout in To Kill Mockingbird. Um, it was my favorite role because it was very organic. Um, Scout is a very optimistic young girl and obviously if you knew To Kill Mockingbird, um, the setting is she's just living in a bad time of civil rights and she's very um, open to learning about new things and she's young, she's a little girl. And I liked, well not only did I like the production because the people were just super friendly with me and I worked with all of the adults, um, but it was just very natural. Um, when I was on stage, um, I just felt like a kid. Like I literally would walk around, skip around, um, talk to my dad, sit on his lap, like um, Jen, you know, his name is Atticus Finch. And um, I actually learned a lot about it. I didn't realize, because I, I mean I was young when I played the role. But I learned the way like you treat people and the way that Atticus handled himself and like defended Robert. Um. Ariana, who's your favorite actor and why? Uh, I think I want to say Judy Garland. Um, she was very powerful and I, I'm, I'm a short person and she was short but she was so powerful and she had so much following and she was so sweet. and. She was sweet, but she had this strength to her that like a small girl could really look up to, and her voice was just amazing. Um, yeah, she was my favorite. Do you feel like you could play strong characters? I think I'd like to. I think that's a really good 
I think that's really good to show to people that even mm -hmm. though you're small, you can have strength, you can have beauty, you can have grace, but you can also be this force, this presence. And I really personally like playing strong characters because in myself, I'm very confident in myself. I'm very strong. And I'd like to show that to other people. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Devin, what do you love about musical theater? I love the over-the-top that kind of comes with acting and musical theater. I was raised on being able to let people see me from 400 feet away. And I am a very expressive person. I talk with my hands all the time. I was raised in a household that kind of thrived off of emotional communication. And I think that being on stage in a musical theater setting, um, aside from my love for music, uh, gives me a chance to kind of really express in a way that isn't necessarily socially acceptable or like normal. <laughs> uh, how do you see yourself as doing all kinds of roles? I tend to be put into the dramatic roles. Uh, in high school, we had this thing where we used to give each other like little awards at the end of the year, and I ended up getting best dramatic actress, and I got the the, the student made award for most depressing roles. Um, Thank you. <laughs> so we interviewed your twin last week. Mm -hmm. How are you different from your twin in terms of what you can do as an actor? Well, that is a good question. Me and Olivia are very close to be similar, um, but I believe I'm a little bit more outgoing. I tend to be a little bit more aggressive than her. She is more of the shy, quiet roles, and I'm more of the... Uh, Look at me. <laughs> um, I believe that I can play more of an action-filled role than her, but that's just my point of view. What do you think of Tomb Raider? There's a new Tomb Raider coming out. Um, I think I would be great in the movie. I mean, I would work my hardest to, pl to fulfill the role that I'm assigned. Mm, yeah. OK, thank you. <laughs> So Olivia, yours, I got it right, right? Yeah, that's, oh. that's me, I'm like, <laughs> I panic every time, <laughs> sorry. Um, your sister, I did it, um, your sister said that you are more shy and quiet. Do you agree with that or not? Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Um, as a kid, I was always kind of more to myself. I didn't really talk as much. She sort of had to be my backbone as well as hers. So uh, growing up, she was always like super outgoing, super aggressive. Um, she never let anybody else pick on me because I could not stand up for myself. But uh, yeah, I totally agree with her. I'm kind of more shy kind of to myself. Uh, but you know, when I'm given a role of being like, I need to be this like outgoing person, I am able to transform myself into that person and be like, hear me roar, I'm here. and go for it and yeah okay thank you mac how do you see yourself as an actor what types of parts television film what do you see yourself as um i kind of see myself as being able to um be versatile um i i think for me it's it's just kind of like it comes down to you know testing yourself and being, uh, being willing to explore and kind of figure out what you can do and can't do so in a sense, um, you know, for me, I like to be able to, to go out and, and push myself. So if I'm given a con in, in a situation where I'm supposed to be funny or supposed to be dramatic, whatever it is, you know, I want to, you know, um, give myself the opportunity to do that. So I think, I think I can, for me personally, I think I pushing myself um, to, to uh, meet that. Uh, whatever, whatever role that is, that it is that I'm put into, um, to fulfill. Okay. So. Thank you. Masa, what do you love about acting? <coughs> um, being in somebody else's body and doing whatever they do. Challenging myself, um, you know, pushing my um, limits, trying new things. Would you be willing to act um, in Farsi? Of course, yeah. Yeah. 
What types of parts do you think you could play? Melodrama, drama. Yeah, I don't like comedy or action. No. But drama, yes. Who's your favorite actor? Persian or... Persian. Persian. Um, Bahram Radam. I don't think you know him, but he's a really good actor. What do you like about him? He is... Uh, he's so good being, like... Mm, you know, he's... He puts a lot of emotion and, you know, and he puts himself... Good. Uh, Teresa, how do you see yourself as an actor? What kind of roles do you think you could audition for and win the part? Well, I really like the active storytelling and uh, I guess some of the characters uh, that I would like to bring to life are more comedian. Uh, um, I also like drama. But I like comedies because they're feel good and I know it brings a lot to the audience. Um, but I personally just feel great doing comedies. Uh, I also enjoy dramas though. I wouldn't limit myself to anything. I think I'm open to different character types. But um, I think my first choice would definitely be a comedy. Um, I just think in my life I try to make everything light even when it's going bad. So I think that comes naturally. Um, so I just try to do my best with everything, and I think that's why comedies uh, probably fit me the most. But when it comes to drama also, um, I could be, uh, I think, pretty darn good as a drama actor. Um, I really like going deep um, uh, with my feelings, and uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Carrie. You are the quintessential all-American girl, but there's, you've got more to you than that. What more to, do you have? Uh, I can be a badass sometimes. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's pretty surprising. I have, a, I have a blonde and kind of, ooh, an innocent girl next door face, but when it comes down to it, it can get deep. <laughs> do you have a favorite actress and why? Um, Recently, I really liked Emma Stone. Uh, I think she's kind of the perfect mix between a pretty serious role. She has, you know, some recent stuff out that's pretty good. But then she started with, you know, being pretty comedic. Um, and so it's a cool growth to see from her. Do you see any limitations in your ability as an actor? I Honestly, I do. Um, if you want, I sometimes have difficulty with being just outright outright outrageous but it's something i'm working on um, so that's a process for me hopefully to grow through it thank you all right yeah, what kind of movies do you like and why i like movies that um they're very immersive and the characters are very strong because Growing up, um, a lot of the movies that I liked are movies that are very simple, like for for example, movies like Napoleon Dynamite, where the characters are very real, very like immersive. Movies like Forrest Gump, because they're so story driven, so character driven. Sometimes it's nice to take away like all the flashiness to just have good story and character. So you like characters that are somewhat outsiders. Oh yeah, I mean it really depends on what the story is and what the film is, but usually, like you, you know, you mentioned a lot of people like the underdog, so characters that just are so unique, even if they're the villain or the hero, it's just likable even in their whatever situation. How long have you wanted to be an actor? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know when when you got the yeah. passion when you when you uh, the I acting know, I, bug. Yeah, I, I, I never say I want to be an actor. I don't know. Okay, thank you.